Hello everyone, I am Dr. Padma Tetunga Durte from Teach Connect. I am a quality education specialist, I train teachers and mentor principals. Managing students, especially adolescent students, is a great challenge. The teachers are expected to have effective strategies so that the environment will promote better learning. Therefore, we shall see 10 important and 10 steps to manage the classrooms effectively. Maybe we can choose to use all or a few or as one after the other in a series. The first one, establishing clear expectation. The teacher is expected to communicate what she is going to do with the student. What are the rules of the day? What are the consequences of what they are learning? And the expectations come with reasons behind these expectations. And the learning will be faster. The second one is to foster positive relationships. There should be a very good and positive connectivity with the student. Positive reinforcement praise and encouragement to motivate students as required and in required proportion is very important. This will reduce the stress and the behavior issues will be addressed. And the third one, to engage the students actively during their learning time. Adolescent kids learn only hands-on interactive or only when they are engaged. Especially few students will have creative thinking in their minds. They wish to express themselves in group discussions, debates or in the presentation. Looking at the group of the class, the teacher is expected to create activities which are suitable for the classroom. These activities must give room for critical thinking. Then creativity comes into picture. Now the fourth one, there should be a routine and structure. The children are expected to know the clear instruction and the transition between the activities. Today, during the transitions from the classroom to the computer room or from the classroom to the sports ground or coming back, the schedules have to be displayed. The students need to be told how to keep themselves informed and organized. They should know what they are supposed to do and they should also know what they are not supposed to do. Giving these specific instructions to students will help them to stay organized. When the student is organized, obviously, the behavioral issues will be addressed. And the fifth point, students are different. Each child is unique. Adolescent kids, more so, they are unique. Their learning styles and abilities are different. Therefore, differentiated instruction is the only way to see that the children are engaged in their learning. The assessment have to be very clear to them with the instructions, expectations told to them. And the next one, the sixth one, they should encourage collaboration and peer interaction. The teacher is expected to collaborate student with proper groups, taking care to see that there is no bullying and group activities need to be incorporated. Guidelines must be provided and do's and don'ts should be told to the student. Effective learning must happen in the classroom when the students are engaged and when they know what is their expectation, when they know what is expected from them, the children will normally and actively participate in the learning. And the next one is technological intervention. This is the seventh one. Using educational apps, gaming apps, multimedia presentation. I'm a big fan of Kahoot app 
myself. These technological intervention will help students focus better. Behavioral disturbances happen when the students lose focus or they are seeming to be bored in the classroom. Then the eighth point is addressing the behavior issues separately and proactively. If the children are going out on a field trip, adolescent kids especially, they are supposed to be told as to what are the challenges they might face and what could be the probable solution, who to look for, for help. These preventive measures, when told proactively, along with the corrective measures, the students will tend to love their field trip. It's okay to make noise, but at the same time, they will know what is constructive noise. This will also develop self-regulation skills. And the ninth point is student must feel safe with the teacher. That is, they should be able to trust the teacher. The student must feel respected, valued and accepted by the teacher. Then the equity and inclusion comes into picture. A positive classroom culture will celebrate the learning of the student. This will encourage empathy and these adolescent kids will definitely help the other kids. Any incidents kind of bullying that will be the nature of some student. The teacher has to talk to these students and deal with it very sensibly and sensitively. Tenth point, the parents must always come into picture. Communicating with the parents, the school norms, the class norm and the behavior of the child is very important. That will let the parent know that the students are on the same page as the teacher and as the school and any behavioral change will be addressed by the parent also. The teachers can communicate through emails, phones or a video message. Parent-teacher conferences are however there. These 10 steps or 10 different ideas will help the child learn better even in the adolescent age. This will lead to the child's success. Thanks for watching my video. I think now you know that each classroom is unique. Each child is unique. The approach to the student should be different and unique too. Share this video with other teachers also. They will find this video very interesting because this is about classroom management. More so, classroom management for better learning. Thanks for watching.